Welcome to BS with Billy. <laughs> Sitting here with uh, literally the loudest person ever. Yeah. Uh, am I spiking? I don't think you need a microphone. You spike. Well, it's all the way up sure. there. We're doing it like professional yeah, guys. You like what? Yeah. BS it with Billy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a spike. I just saw it. Yeah. Uh, I'm sitting here with Eric Southern. That would see the two spikes. How they're similar. It's loud. Yeah. And sitting here with my dad, his uncle. What's your name? Terry. Terry Southern. Terry. Yeah. Uncle First T time having Uncle, having Uncle T spot. Yeah. Our oldest guest by far. I like that. Like we usually have dumb kids. What is that supposed to mean? Because we have kids on who don't know. They don't know what the world's doing. So, like what do you think of the world? He just means he's weathered. So what are you saying? All this while we better make this a quick show before he keels over. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get this on tape quick. Let's record something. He existed. He's right here. <laughs> so we. So uh, you were talking about um, you taught Eric like how to not be afraid of like heights and stuff, right? Yeah. Well, can you go a little, a little further into that? I mean, that? kinda. <laughs> I think it's a great story. I it's know. a story where it's like, in 10 years, you can't tell us anymore. It's like, you did what to your nephew? Uh, like, the, yeah, no. It was not a different time. for that or no? God, no. How old no? was I? I don't know. He'd be talking Five. about it a lot. I think he would have brought it up. Like, remember that Four time you dangled me over, over the railing? So tell her, what, what did you do to me? <laughs> uh, and you were a little bit nervous, like crying. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, it's going to be fine. And then it hung me over there and you <laughs> I pulled him. I pulled him back up and then about 10 minutes later, do it again. Yes, <laughs> yes. Really? That's no, I get that. Makes sense. That's the mentality of that young kid where it's like, I yep. faced danger and lived. Let's do it again. 100%. That's awesome, man. I'm st like, I, was I'm I don't st think I'm I can do it anymore. I'm still that same way. Like, I'm like, the first time I do like like a roller coaster, I'm nervous as shit. Yeah. And then I'm, immediately I get right back in the line. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. You did that with a girl. Uh, remember you, my dad brought me to Six Flags in sixth grade. And that was, that's the best thing when your dad's cool, you know, when your dad's cool and he gets to chaperone you and your friends, you're like, yeah. oh, this is going to yeah, be amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he, it was me, Josh Miller. I think who else in that group? John Morhan and like... Josh Lau maybe, but like they're just this group of kids. But you were so funny, and I remember you were he wrote all the rides with us. I still have that picture of the Superman ride. I'll that's, show it before you leave. That's dope. But I'm just saying, there was a point to this. Where was I going? Um, oh, being afraid. Remember you brought Melissa to the Six Flags, and she had this friend who was <laughs> tell a story, terrified of roller coasters. So my dad goes, I said, this is the it's no the, big deal. The smallest ride you ever get in. The Superman, by the way. <laughs> yeah. The, the, so we the, get in there. They strap us all down, and I this, said to the little girl, I said, this is the most uh, scariest ride you're ever going to be on in your, <laughs> oh, <laughs> your life. But then, oh, so she went on the ride. She went on the ride, as screamed as the whole way, we got they, off, she says, let's go again. As soon Boom. as they locked, and, as soon as they locked no. her in. Yeah, I wonder who was all you locked went, in. Listen, this you're fucked. Yeah, you're so, fucked. Yeah, you're this done. the scariest ride you're ever going to be Just scream now. It doesn't matter. That's They're going to think you're having bro. fun. That's hilarious. I haven't been to a music party in quite a while. They didn't let me chaperone ever again. <laughs> that was your last year, yeah. Yeah. That was fun times. Whenever, like, I remember uh, back in the day, and you remember this in, like, middle, no, I'm sorry, elementary school, when you hit, like, third, fourth grade, your parents would bring you in fast food for lunch and sit with you. I do remember And that. you used to sit there and go, got some McDonald's I'm right the, here during school. Literally the coolest motherfucker yep. in class because and, you're eating chicken nuggies or a fucking... Yep. A cheeseburger from McDonald's. And there's always like three kids that go, whatever you don't eat, man, I'll take that. It's like, I know you will. But I'm not going <laughs> to leave anything. If anything, I'm going to purposely throw a fry away to be like, it was so good, couldn't even. <laughs> but how cool, especially if you have cool parents, which me and you have both have I remember one cool time, parents. One time my dad, for um, show and tell and for kindergarten oh. class, um, he brought, we rode the snowmobiles to school. And he dropped me off at school on the snowmobile. Oh yeah! And so wow. for my show and tell that I showed, I showed off this. I like we all, all the kids ran to the window and looked oh, out at my dad on the snowmobile. That's so awesome! Yeah, cool. What a classy, cool. cool dad move! Wow, no kidding. What about you? Did What's, your did your dad ever like any of your friends when you were growing up? Were they like, well, he's a good guy? Like, would he joke around with your friends ever or no? Yes, yeah, um, most of me says. Don't follow him. You're going to be in jail. <laughs> we were at Frank's, I don't know, before all this shit happened. All the COVID stuff? So. And, uh... Well, how do you... What, I want... Okay, keep going. And I... It was me, Billy, and Ken. 
So I said, get these guys a drink. And he said, oh, thanks. I said, well, you're paying for it. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Yes. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, he's a good, yeah, Ken's a cool guy. He's How do you a good feel guy. about this whole COVID situation? Well, I don't give a shit about it. Me neither. Be careful. Yeah, I know, I'm, I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, no, I'm just like. No comment. Of course, I don't, I don't go anywhere. It's yeah. Once in a while, I'll stop at a casino, but you got to have a mask on. Well, I'll tell you yeah. this right now. I'm just saying, this ain't six feet. This ain't six feet, this folks. Not. This is three people in the span of six feet. <laughs> but a, it's a very true statement. Yeah, it's None okay. None of us have masks on. Well, I'm, I, don't, I'm sure it's real. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that too. For sure. And people are dying of it, but... I think you're I just... Am. I think it's a pocket thing where it's like, if you are in the same social group... All right, everybody's talking about I don't about care. Who yeah. gives a shit? Well, yeah. you're the one that brought it up. I know, I know, yeah. I know. No I know. more. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. We're done with that. shit? No, oh, sorry. cut it. Cut it. Yeah, sorry. I'll cut that out 100%. I'll cut that out. If but it, No, we didn't. If this is on there, I'm suing you for copyrights or whatever no. the fuck. This about. part will be. What I said won't be, but this part where Eric's laughing and like we're like, ooh, bro. I was going to go, what'd you say? It's like, <laughs> never going to say it again. No. It this wasn't ain't live now, is it? Somebody no. can't hack into your phone and see this shit live? No, oh, hacking it. What, what are we watching? I Mr. am Mr. Robot now. Yeah, like, I, well, I am streaming this as we, but no one looks at it while it's streaming. What? Hope. Oh, Excuse me. Sorry, that's that, not true. What? Yeah, that's We're like, not. Oh, all right. <laughs> not really, though, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's not yeah true. this is definitely, definitely. I was definitely the last time I'm doing this. No, I think you'll have a good time. I was telling him, I was like, the comedians you like growing up, like George Carlin Pryor. So good. You know what? But they're all not around anymore. You know yeah. what I mean? Carlin Pryor, like Cosby, you can't like who? anymore. Bill Burr? He doesn't know who that is. I don't know. He he, no I idea think you would like him. He doesn't know who Louis C.K. is, but you that one. Yeah. Is that the big guy? Louis, he's not really. Louis, Famous wise? Yeah. Louis Garcia he's, or whatever. Please lean this way if you play. I'm sorry. What's your name, Louis Garcia? No, Louis. No, you're Garcia. thinking of. You like he likes Jeff Dunham. No, you know who we went to see last year, my birthday, oh, yeah. Yeah. the day before my birthday. Yeah. Who was the, I used to shit on this person, but and was that, surprisingly good. Not no, not, surprisingly good and like holy fuck! I can, you know those kind of stand-ups where you're like I can we see you're, you're, you're just being you. Like that's just who you are. Like yeah. it's crazy that like yeah. I can see that to you. Yes. Ron White. Yeah, he was. Dude crazy. was killer. Really? Dude, okay. like, I feel like you could have yelled shit out and he would just engage with you. He'd There's no like, smoking or that? drinking in this part of the casino. Except he for him. Out, he oh, walks on yeah. stage with a cigar, or a cigar yeah, and he, a shot glass. You a yeah. cigar guy? No, I know. I, have one, I was just going to say, okay. I was going to tell him, I have one on my birthday. He bought me my cigar. I like oh, cigars. What, Tipperillo? It was a uh, uh, acid. Acid? Very good cigar. I don't think you're it supposed was a, to smoke that. It was, it was <laughs> a, acid, acid is the brand and it was a Cuba Cuba. You can they're very high. They're, they're super creation. sweet. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell that story. No, no. What's Don't story? use names. Don't use names. Uh, I'm talking about myself. You got Netflix? No. No, I, I tried convincing him today to get rid of his 218. Oh, I no, got 200, one. 238 dollar cable bill. 218. Two, 218. What? Hold on, but he. But no, my dad likes his his home phone and his internet, which internet's cool, but you pay to, bro. You. What? No, as I said, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, HBO listen, Go. Listen, You're good. listen, you, you, I would give not, all my you can knock that in half. And, like, and still well, get yeah, more. Get rid of it. Really quick, why don't more? Why don't know how we started you this conversation? You will still have internet, you'll still have home phone, you just won't have cable, and you'll have Hulu, Netflix, fucking any other streaming service. We said, how, how am I going to get uh, Wi Fi? 40 bucks. Internet. My help. I pay, I pay $70 for Verizon for a one See, gig. Verizon's not Bridgeport. Okay, we <sighs> Time Warner. Hmm. What's gonna get one? Might as well get it all. Fuck it. They he might depending on the prices, he might be kinda of right. Yeah, I know. Because he might he wants his phone home. Verizon phone. doesn't come out it. there yet. No. Even still? It's I fucking, even called It's two thousand and twenty. There's a like I called Spectrum. I get that. You know why? When they build shit, they'll do it. There's it's to the road. But it's up to the owners to put it through all the buildings. And the owners said, No, we ain't doing that. Well, Put a gun in his mouth and go like, "Yo, I want to go on like fucking Google." Irish I'm trying to Google like how long snails live, and you're fucking me up. Show him a fucking Shark Tank yeah. and be like, "Listen, motherfucker." And no, take it's a shark right. tooth and go like, "These are fucking shark, motherfucker," and mm -hmm. just push it. I'm trying to help you, motherfucker. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. You ever seen that lady? 
A woman says this? Yeah, yeah. Like, you've never seen this internet? It went viral. This lady in Walmart was freaking out. She was just talking and she was just like... Was she, she the was right like, one? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's no. Like, like, was she the correct person in the no. argument? No. And she just keeps going, I'm just trying to help you, motherfucker. <laughs> Literally just like that. Like, the most passive-aggressive thing. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Why? Like, I know, it was just funny. When's the last time you threw up? There's a, there's threw a up? A couple days ago. Whoa! Whoa hold on. For what? Yeah, I know. I was like, hey, was yeah. there or was there not blood? No. Oh, no. Okay. How did you puke? What did you like? So did you? How like, did I? Yeah. I Through the mouth, feeling, probably. Then all of a sudden, I felt it coming up. Well, and then it came up, probably. Yeah. Where were you? Home. Did you make it to the toilet? Oh yeah, I knew How, it was coming. Would you rather? Okay. You ever would get you get that water in your mouth? Would you yeah, rather, yeah. Would you rather puke in the tub or in the toilet? He said, Would you rather? Huh? Would tub you rather puke in the tub or the sink? I changed it up. Yeah, you fucked up. Oh, no, 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 no. Which one? He's not doing what? this. <laughs> what, you said? what would you rather? Get kicked in the nuts or punched in the throat? <laughs> How hard? Oh, like Either you're gonna way, you're going to have some damage. <laughs> He's going to do it. He said that before. He goes, if he, can say, he literally said, if Eric starts that, would you rather share? I'm going to say that. He exactly. really said that? He did say that exactly. I love it. That's, I, I love said, it. like, I hope he brings it up, and I, I know that. you fucking would. I love it. I love it. Yo, would you go when I get my tattoo? Would no. you go with me and get a tattoo also? For what? What the fuck you want? You want something from Eric oh, or something? Get me get a tattoo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I always wanted to. Let's do it. I Come on. Because I before. asked him to do it. Yeah. And he said he's not good enough yet to do a picture. That was I'm years ago, I bet. Oh, you want a portrait? Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. No. They're expensive, right, than a regular tattoo. I'll, I'll get you Probably. a hookup. Yeah? Yeah, I'll get you a hookup. I'll have to find a good picture. I'll get you Where a she's hookup. not flipping me off or something like that. That would be better to me. That was who she was. She was the jokey person of like... Yeah, hey. I would get one of her. Aw. Would you get letters, too, first? Why don't you get, like, a little thing, like... A quote? What was you don't quote? have one? She has a quote, I bet. You don't have a field day's tattoo? Yeah, that's same, the we that's got the, the same day you're dead. Yes. Yeah, show the camera, show the camera, show the camera. Oh, and, well, you had to put your arm, the camera's over there. I see it. Look at that. Let me see it. I want to see it. Pull the arm off. Pull, At pull the field here. days. Me, Jeff. I'm, no, I'm like, I'm actually look, looking. Me, Jeff, and uh, your dad. What's it? Is it, see your name? <gasps> no. What's That's funny you say it because his Uncle Greg's tattoo is the same font. As yes, this. yes, yes, yes. What's same. Well, Jeff got Patty. I got Gisela. Both divorced. Your, <laughs> your father had Greg put on him. The smart Greg, best dude. He got Greg. I, I said, guys, you all get divorced. He said, I'm putting my name on her. I ain't gonna. That's do smart. so <laughs> good, dude. <laughs> no one's right. We don't, we don't talk enough about. We should have like an Uncle Greg episode. The best. God. Damn, what an amazing person. Sorry. F I just did that to you on accident. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Oh, Josh Brandt. You're the man. You got to come on the show. <laughs> Josh Brandt's been an active he texted supporter. Me. I The best dude. He texted I, me. He was talking about the vape cloud. Everything yeah, and I was just like, yeah, I love that he like took the time to go, that was ridiculous. <laughs> like, <laughs> look, who would be a good guest on this show from our family? Both question to both of you. I think, um, I was going to say Joey and Nick, but I think they'd be too, like, Ryan. quiet. Ryan would be great. Joey and Nick would be awesome, by the way. I'm the, not saying Ryan that. would be the best. You got to give him a drink first. Ryan, Ryan would be good. great. Ryan's very, a very colorful personality, you know what I mean? Yeah. I love um, Ryan. And Amy would be great on this, actually. No. I think she's a very bubbly personality. Be. I think she'd be great. She'd be bubbly, like, same as me. I'll do it as a as me, don't ask me to do it again. That's fine. One time's fine. I don't need to, like, you know what I mean? We're not hurting for guests, let's be honest here. I'm just saying. Yeah, I can see the line waiting to get in. <laughs> well, I mean, we have a security at the door, so not everyone can get down here. Like, no, this, this is all right. It is all right. There's yeah. a lot of lights. We used to have five. I mean, you're no it's really, we're just bullshitting. You're That's no Johnny it Carson, but it's all right. Well, Eric's is Eric my Ed McMahon. Ed McMahon. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't laugh the same, though. No. Why well, would Ed McMahon laugh? Do you know who Johnny Carson is? Yes, yeah, he's a talk show host from the 60s. You go... Ride ball, um, Mount Baldy, Mount Baldy, and I'd make me go Mount Baldy, and he would go Mount Baldy, and he would take the envelope and, and they had the open turban it up, and he, yeah, and he would have a turban, and he would go, "What did Ewell Brenner's wife do on their wedding night?" All right, so you saw one. You guys are all too young. You saw one see. YouTube clip, and now you. No, I, I, I actually, I actually, the, I'm I'm regurgitating Norm Macdonald's. That makes sense even more. Like that's that even, makes yeah, even like, more sense. I remember, stole Norm Macdonald's yeah, format to do this it, podcast. That's, that's so you remember Clark Griswold had his own uh, nighttime show, the, the Chevy Chase show, and it lasted like three weeks. Everyone yeah. was like, "Oof!" I heard he's a big ass. I heard he's a big asshole. I heard that too, oh, yeah. but. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah I heard he's like... I'm just prick. saying, if people came up to you all day, every day, going like, Ooh, Clark Griswold, you would eventually go, Fuck off! Then don't make You the get movie. away? Don't I, make movies if you don't want it, if you can't take it. That's like saying, don't take pictures if you don't want everyone to like it and talk to you all the time. It's like, shouldn't I have my privacy? Nope, don't get out. Don't put yourself out there if you want privacy. I'm saying... That's like, really what it is! I'm saying, like, stay home. Yeah. You want to live like a hermit, just stay home. Actually, you know what? Do the Banksy thing. Who? Where you don't... Banksy's just like really famous Well, you artist. can't really be in a movie and have nobody know who you are. Just putting it in <laughs> It's spilling. I saw it spill on my USB cards. It's empty. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's empty. And there's. I'm just saying garbage is just right next it to you. In the it's drawer, okay. Like this. Slowly. <laughs> this is the. Oh, I'm just saying. Only the second guest ever to open the drawers. That's a Nico. That's a hundred percent gonna still be there. The next time <laughs> no, he already took it out. Yeah. Actually, I kind of wish he would have left it there. That would have been funny. Well, make up my mind. Put it back in the drawer. No. <laughs> no Actually, you. next guess would be funnier. I'm like, take out my dad's can, and it really is still like, put it back in there. Seriously. Put it back in. Yeah! I'm so happy. All right, tell your favorite joke. How was that? I have no jokes. Oh, yeah. Okay. You One. It's yeah. not funny, though. All right, let's hear it. Now, how was it a joke? Okay. Baby Seal walks into a bar. His bartender says, what do you have? Baby Seal says, anything but Canadian club. Zing. Okay, that's good. That's, like a, that's, like a, that's a dark popsicle joke. It's like not too brutal, but it's not too happy. What either. what third rate comic gave you the term popsicle joke? Like who told? Where did you hear that from? What shit comic that went? I'm gonna explain comedy. Like Joe Rogan explained comedy, where you're like, you're not my funny. Brain, it's, just, it's just popsicle. You think Joe joke. Rogan's funny? I've never really watched his stand up. Okay, <laughs> I looked at the camera to be like, I'll I'll die in the I've snow. never I've never watched his stand up. Terribly, so I can't judge. Anyway, who's your? I've only watched his podcast. You don't want stand up nowadays. You don't know any new stand ups. No. You should kind of get into like. I'm telling you. What, what about one last year? I'm telling David you. Tell you would like. I think you would like Bill Burr. I think you would really like Raymond Burr. Burr. Oh, Bill. Young, I, Raymond think if, Burr. I think a Bill Burr is. What type years. of 1956 Raymond name Burr is that? Is, you know, Raymond Burr was. Yeah, I was going to say. It's, a, it's yeah. an who's actor. It? Is it? Yeah. yeah. Raymond Burr. Who is. What was he in? Do you know who Ironside. Do you know who Aaron Burr is? What's that? Detective movie. Court thing. He was the lawyer. Is it good? If you were in a duel, would you, and you were, like, supposed to take ten paces back to would back? Would you take six would you, go would you, Yeah, would you shoot would. him off rip? I, I wouldn't would. would even turn around. <laughs> you just ten shoot him. Ten paces, shoot three, him. two, one, turn, bam! <laughs> shoot him in, like, his, like, aorta. No, right in the face. Right in the, <laughs> the face. Geez. And then what happens if you miss? You gotta, like, load your musket. <laughs> and everyone around you's like, wow! Hey, oh, yeah. was... Give us one more story. About? Do you have any funny stories that, like... We should know, or about like anyone. You know what I mean. Not about, that I want to put on camera. No. Well, I can bleep out names, like I said. Yeah, I mean, not really. What's the most violent thing that ever happened with you and your? Oh, wait, wait. What's the What's the craziest thing you've ever done with my dad? Crazy? Yeah. We were like, both like in he, trouble. Like he would tell me. In trouble. He would tell me like he would like bottle rockets down the hall and put cinder blocks in, in school. Backpacks. Yeah. Cinder blocks. He's lying. He goes. He was lying. He uh, never probably. Did. No, that makes no, sense. no, 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 no. The time he jumped over the fence and took his nuts off. That's, yup, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? You didn't hear, you've never known about that? Oh, yeah. Nope. Go ahead. Yep. The, uh, okay, so, uh, on, so you, you're gonna, have, you were there, right? No. Okay, but you remember, you remember it. Yeah. So, you, I'm gonna vaguely tell the story of what, from what I remember him telling me, <laughs> and then you're gonna have to tell me, then fill in the voids, because the beginning is what I don't really remember. I remember they're in the woods and they were in a tree fort or whatever. Where Walmart like is now. Yes, yes. Behind the driving. Yep. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where we used to take me to ride my little PW50 and my brother's three wheeler back there. Yep. Um, I distinctly remember driving my little. I was like five years old riding my little PW50 and I found a pair of um, like camouflage pants. Like, <laughs> and they were just like they were on the trail and they were like. So, so, oh, no, there's not shit. <laughs> Frozen? <laughs> they were like crusty because like they've been Frozen. outside for a while. Yeah, and yeah. I go, Dad, look what I found. <laughs> and he goes, put them shits down. <laughs> Get out of that. But you're like, like, yo, fuck? it's that cool dude. It's like, no, he goes, put that shit, it. goes, put that shit down. <laughs> Could have been him for a few years. It was. <laughs> so, um, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So they were, so they were in the tree, um, they were in like the tree fort or whatever. Mm -hmm. And. They were throwing rocks at a kid. Could be. Or I'll like, be or church, or like, or like cars. They were throwing rocks at cars on thirty one or something like that. They were doing something very mischievous. <laughs> how old? And how old? somebody I don't remember how old. 14? I think I was already gone in the army. 
So like 16. Yeah. Yeah. 16, 17. Throwing rocks at cars is 16 years old shit. Unless you're a psycho, but so, 16. So, there, wait, I don't even know if, it, if that was that, like, like what that was what it hey, is. Hey, killing people. Anyway, so, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, somebody showed up and, and like they all had to book it. So he was running through the woods and he tried, he thought he could clear a stump and he tried to just, just jolt. No, no, he didn't use his hands. He tried to just like hurdle it like a track star. And there was, he said there was a piece of, um, a oh. piece of the stump of a piece of stick <laughs> pointing up. And he said, as he ran his, like, so this is the stick and this is the balls. So say they're not split yet. He j hurtled it, and the bottom of his sack hit the tree. It's at the bottom. It's halfway through. And it split. And he said his nut was hanging down by his kneecap, by his nut, like his tendon. And he ran all the way home. And he ran home. all the way home with his nut by his knee. He said yeah. there was blood all trickling all down his leg. Lady next door wanted Jane. Do you remember her, Jane Schmidt? No. Wanted to look. I mean, I kind of would want to look too. No, I would fucking. Oh, oh, said, he was like, as oh, they man. said the injury, but that's I'd like, run. That's cool to like look at, though. You know? Oh, that's wild, bro. You would you wouldn't want to watch brain surgery? I. <laughs> I no, okay. There's a difference between brain surgery and a got no, because that's that's calculated. Like when surgeon, my brother broke his arm, I made sure I saw that shit. Yeah, you inside, remember that? Did he stick out his arm? No, Conference. so, That's okay, so we were, this is another good story about my dad. <coughs> we were, um, well, hold on, hold on, stop. What happened to his nuts? Like, he was oh, in the no, hospital they, and, they were, and they tucked I, I, it I again. I they guess rolled they, the they, vein back up and went, bloop. Yeah. Vein, pretty much, I guess. He's alive, so it must still work. Like, you know a vacuum? Yeah, exactly. like, literally, like, yeah. You I'm know here. how the vacuum, like, you press the button and the cord goes, <laughs> is there a button on the human body where it's <laughs> yeah. like, it sucks, It's like a measuring tape. Comes when you, it's yeah, like a yeah. measuring tape. It goes back <laughs> up into the sack. All right. Good, lame joke, but go ahead. Um, Scott, bringing his own. Yeah, so we were playing hide and go seek, and like the guy, John Briggs, the guy across. Briggs! The, you remember that? No. Yeah. Okay, well, he I like his name. Reese, Hi, Reese. Yeah, Reese Drive. You know Briggs? You remember John Briggs, right? Into Mustangs. My dad was friends with him. Well, my brother was friends with him, and my dad was friends with his dad, blah, blah, blah. He was a piece of shit. <laughs> well, John Briggs. Briggs, you're the man, dude. I'm sorry. I'm just joking around. If Eric likes you, I like you. Um, anyways, he was doing. They were, re they were doing construction on the house, so they had like the. the um, Dumpster. Yeah, yeah, but like you know the ones for construction where like it's like open, and it's just like basically it's a, a trailer. Yeah, it's basically just like a trailer with an open side, and then mm -hmm. the other side's closed, so they can just tow it right out. Well, my brother and John Briggs were hiding in the back of the dumpster, and I came around the front in the opening side, in the opening side, and I was like, "Gotcha!" You know what I mean? I was like eight years old. Well, my brother tried to jump over the back of the um dumpster and his shoelace got caught on something so as he fully momentum jumped off of it his shoelace got caught and he just came back down and just went boom and swung swung and hit the front of the dumpster and so he crushed his arm this part of his hand was touching this part of his arm and then his wrist was touching his shoulder he wow. literally he literally crushed his arm so anyway, so this, here's where the funny part. It's all funny to me, actually. That so here's what was his here's, reaction though. Was he like, well, he ran home like, ah! he ran home, he just he like, ran oh, home. Fuck. And he ran. He was like, oh fuck. He was kind of, he was kind of in shock. It, this is all. I was like eight years old. So he's twenty lying. years ago. Yeah. No, 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 no. This I, very I much happened. I, I'm remembering as he's saying it, and I remember specifically his arm being like that. Crushed. You know what I mean? Yes. yes crushed. I remember that part of the story. So he, um, the funny part of the story is. My dad comes home in the Jeep, and um, he, John Briggs comes out, and uh, he, um, John goes, "Hey, uh, I, uh, I, th I think you're, uh, I think you're, I think Scott broke his arm." And my dad goes, "What are you, a fucking doctor?" <laughs> and my brother comes out of the house with his arm crushed, and he, my dad's eyes get literally oh. this big, and he goes, "Get in the fucking car now!" Yeah. So they're driving to the hospital, weaving in and out of traffic super fast, and he had to get off the exit, and the guy, and there was a guy who was not letting him over. So my brother, with his broken arm, hangs his arm out the window to flip him <laughs> oh. off, and the guy immediately slammed on the brakes and let him in. <laughs> oh, that's so messed. That's terrible. What an awful note's going on. 
I'm gonna have nightmares about breaking my arm tonight. You broke. I remember yeah. you broke your arm at camp. And yep. actually, and coincidentally, Scott was in the hospital at the same time because he like grabbed a hose and like he cut, cut his, his finger, finger off to the ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tell that story really quick. He was. He oh, was no, tell a story about you fucking your body up some way. I never did. Never. Really? No. You never broke a bone. Never broke a dog. I've broken. All right, Bruce Willis. I've broken my nose and my eye socket and like fingers and toes, but I've never broken like an extremity. Yeah. I've only had like stitches just from surgeries. Really? I've had stitches from being cut for sure, but you never got hurt. Okay, so you're David Dunn. (laughs) No one gets that. No, I don't even get that. I'm breaking Bruce Willis. Willis. Remember, he never got sick. Uh, Terrible movie. Both of them, Mr. Glass, all of it. Terrible series. Glad yeah, I didn't see We're it. done. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, we're done? Yeah. I got more stories to tell. No, we're done. We'll have them out another Make them come right. another time. We're Bye. Free. Bye, everyone. Have a good fuck. Say something funny. See ya. It's terrible. <laughs>